Good evening, everybody, and welcome back to Penn State Sports Night. I'm Dugan Lloyd alongside Andrew Destin, and we'll be taking a deeper look into Major League Baseball as the season comes to a close. Starting off with the American Wild Card race, I'll turn to you, Andrew. Who do you expect to host the Wild Card game? You know, I think it's pretty simple. It's got to be the Oakland A's. They're sitting at 94 and 62 right now. They got a two game lead on both the Rays and Indians, who are kind of duking things out for that final Wild Card. You look at the remaining part of their schedule. I mean, you got six games left. Yes, they're all on the road, but you're facing the likes of the Seattle Mariners and the Los Angeles Angels, both teams that are under 500. So, frankly, I think it's going to be easy for the A's to hang on. Two game lead, six games to go. I don't think it's very difficult. A's are hosting it at Oakland Coliseum. Mm -hmm. Assuming your prediction holds true, who will head to Oakland for the playoff? You know, I think it's going to be the Cleveland Indians. They're sitting at 92 and 64, just the same way that the Rays are. But they've got a little bit of a different uh, road to get to the end of the season. They've got to travel on the road, mind you, and facing a little bit of an easier competition. they got the White Sox first for three games, which should be a slam dunk. I mean, we know the White Sox aren't necessarily the same caliber of opponent. They've got the ninth most runs given up on the year. They've only scored the sixth most in the American League or the whole Major League Baseball in total. So if anybody's going to do it, I think it's going to be that the way that the Indians can kind of just by luck of the draw of what the remainder of their schedule is, they're going to be the one between them and the Rays who comes out. So about the Tampa Bay Rays, they just got their ace Blake Snell back, and they're on a roll, winning three of their last four games. Do you they know, have the, a shot? The, I mean, they have a shot. Don't get me wrong. The problem is just who their quality of competition coming up is. They still got to finish up a series with the Red Sox tonight, and even though Blake Snell is going today. Look at the next two games, you're facing the New York Yankees. They finish it out with three more against the Toronto Blue Jays, but those are on the road as well. So it's not an easy end of the schedule for them. And the American League East, we know how difficult that's been. This Yankees team that's trying to chase 28 rings, they want to get that top spot in the American League because we all know that home field advantage is so important in the playoffs. So don't expect the Yankees to be playing bench players. They're going to try to come out and beat the Rays any way possible. Though not as heavily contested as the American League, the NL wildcard game should be just as exciting. All indications point to the Brewers facing off with the Nats, but who's going to host? I'm going to side with the Brewers on this one. Their remaining schedule is pretty darn easy. They go on the road, they play against the Rockies, as well as the Cincinnati Reds, two teams that are kind of cellar dwellers. So I don't think it's going to be very difficult for them to get at least four, maybe even five wins, which should certainly be enough to hang on to that NL wildcard spot at the top. And hosting it is huge. I mean, home field advantage has proven to be so important, so crucial in these wild card games so far that if anybody's going to do it, the Brewers, better hitting, even though Yelich is out, as long as they're able to kind of ride the ship and ride on some of those veteran players like Braun, I think the Brewers are going to host. And the Nationals, do they stand no chance of hosting? They've got eight games remaining all at home. Yeah, they've got eight games remaining, which is two more than the Brewers do, but they got a double hitter coming up, and they're playing the Phillies five games in four days. That's a lot to swallow. That's going to be very taxing on your bullpen. And we know that as of right now, it's not necessarily the best bullpen out in Washington, D.C. It's been Sean Doolittle and basically a bunch of moving parts, so I don't think they're going to be able to get through it. And then you look at who comes to town for the last three games. We already mentioned it earlier in this. It's the Cleveland Indians. They're hungry to get into that wild card game. The Nationals maybe not as motivated because, I mean, all due respect to the Chicago Cubs, they're not making the playoffs. It's going to be the Nationals or the Brewers. So, yeah, all eight games are at home, but eight games in seven days, it's not exactly easy. Well, that'll do it for our coverage of the MLB Wild Card Race. Thank you for tuning in to this edition of Penn State Sports Night. That's all from Andrew Destin and myself. We'll see you next week. Thank you for watching our latest edition of Penn State Sports Night. If you're a fan of our content, please be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more clips. Also follow us on Twitter at PSSNTV and on Instagram at PSU Sports Night to keep up with the action. For all my colleagues, we are Penn State Sports Night.